My dear friends, let's solve another question of homogeneous equation. And the given question to us is actually very close to the general form. And what we need to make here is just to solve this equation for y prime. And for that purpose, we need to divide both sides by x times y. And when we do so, what we obtain here is just y prime. And this is equal to, at this first step, let's separate these xy terms, xy and xy. At the first part, uh, when x is cancel, what we obtain is x over y times e to the minus. And here we have a y square divided by x square, and which I can write y over x quantity squared. And in the next term, the y square and y cancels. And what we are left is y over x. All right. And here I have x over y. I want to make the substitution v is equal to y over x. And the other terms, all the other terms here are y over x, y over x. But only this term is x over y and I want to make it y over x. So for that purpose, x over y is equal to one over y over x, right? And I can erase this and write one over y over x. And now I can make the substitution v is equal to y over x, which means that y should be equal to v times x. And when we make, when we take derivative of both sides, derivative of y is y prime, and this term's derivative is, the, remember the multiplication rule for derivatives, the derivative of the first term, v prime times the derivative x, plus the derivative of x is one times v. And next, what I want to do is to plug in these findings, transformations into our original function. So, y prime is equal to v prime x plus v. Let's write it. v plus x, v prime x plus v. And at the right hand side, all the terms y over x should be replaced with v because v is equal to y over x as you see here. So we have 1 over v times e to the minus v square plus v. And these v's cancel then i'm gonna write instead of v prime dv over dx times x and i'm gonna multiply it with v also which is equal to e to the minus v square and next i wanna co collect the v terms to the left hand side and x terms to the right hand side when we do so we have e to the minus v square passes to the other side by e to the v square. And I have a v term here. Let's write it v. And what next? In the right, right hand side, we have also dx over x. And the next thing I need to do is to take the integral of both sides. When we do so, we observe here that the left hand side, the derivative of a to e to the v square is 2v e to the v square. We have a missing 2 here. And uh, when we multiply it with 2, we also need to divide with 2 to make the equality correct. Now, the integral in the left hand side is 1 over 2 e to the v square and the integral in the right hand side is ln x plus integration constant let's select our integration constant as ln c so that we can write here ln c times x and when we multiply this by 2 we obtain e to the v square is equal to 2 times ln c x or I can also write these two as a power 
here and then cx squared and next we are we need to find we need to solve this equation for v for that purpose we take ln of both sides and uh, be careful that we have a double ln in the right hand side now so v square what was v x y minus x which is y square divided by x square y over x sorry not y, y minus x but y over x is equal to a double ln here and this c cx square means makes c square times x square but c square is constant i can replace it with c again c x square here so to solve this equation for v we multiply it with both sides with x square so y square is equal to x square times ln ln of cx square and when we take the square root of both sides what we obtain is the final result y is equal to plus or minus in absolute value x the square root of x square and in the square root we have double ln cx square my dear friends this is the answer of this question take care of yourselves until our next video